Now let's talk about another design choice for implementing LRU cache and this time all these operations will be implemented using a singly linked list. So let's see like how a singly linked list can help us implement LRU cache. Right? So the sequence of operations we again take the same as we took in the array and now what we do is we let's say we create a linked list. So first value when it comes it is not in the cache because linked list is empty. So we fetch it from somewhere and we store in the cache. Then comes 5 and if something comes next and that is more fresh, so more fresh items will insert in the beginning and that way stale items will keep moving towards the end. So this is what our concept is, same array concept we are applying to linked list. right? So 5 comes, 5 is more fresh than 2, so 5 will be inserted in the beginning. Now 2 comes, first we search whether 2 is there in the in the cache 2 is there if it is there we have to bring it to more fresh so we kind of here if you see the benefit is when 2 is brought to the beginning we do not have to worry about shifting the elements because this is this shifting improvement we have got when we came to the linked list so 2 can move forward and our eventually linked list will become 2 5 now next element that comes is 1 so 1 is the fresh element we search in the cache it is not there so it's a miss so when we insert in the beginning so when we do get on 1 so we'll get uh, like 1 is not there so minus 1 we'll get back so 1 we insert in the beginning and this is what our cache becomes like now 9 is not in the cache so 9 comes forward and then 1 1 is there in the cache and now 1 is more fresh so one is refreshed so what we can do is when we can search in this linked list we can get the one in front so we can delete it from here move it in front and put it here so this is what it becomes now then zero comes zero is a fresh element we put it in the front and it is not there in the cache now when 10 comes what we do is we search for 10 it is not there in the cache and cache has reached its full capacity so if this comes we know the least recently used element will always be the last element so at 10 what we have to do is we have to remove the last element and we have to insert this in the beginning now you see the optimization here when we are removing 5 and inserting 10 we do not have to do the shifting so removal of this element putting this element in the beginning is kind of order of uh, one operation right now right so we'll do a detailed analysis of get and set here now 